Hey, Drop Tech fans! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting updates about Samsung's One UI 7.0. Despite facing delays, the beta update is finally on its way, and it promises to redefine your smartphone experience with a fresh set of animations, transitions, and a brand new feature that might feel a bit familiar. Curious? Let's dive right in. The long wait for One UI 7.0 beta. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the rollout of the One UI 7.0 beta update has been slower than expected. But according to reliable sources, it's almost here. While the exact release date hasn't been confirmed, the buzz around its features is building excitement for Samsung fans. A new era of animations. Let's talk about the animations and transitions, arguably the most exciting aspect of One UI 7. Ice Universe, a trusted tipster, recently shared some fascinating details. The screen on animation has a soothing wallpaper shrinking effect. Unlocking your phone comes with a satisfying bouncing animation. The pull-down motion introduces a spring-like rebound effect. Opening desktop apps feels smoother, thanks to a new floating style animation. Returning to the desktop, that now includes a sleek icon pattern zoom effect. Samsung has also added a parallel animation for quickly opening multiple apps, a sliding animation for returning apps to the desktop, a press rebound micro animation in settings. Updated UI transitions for widgets, including lock screen music controls. And there's more. Real time notifications in the desktop bar now feature elastic animations, giving the interface a dynamic and polished feel. User feedback will shape the final product. Here's the best part Samsung isn't stopping there. Once the beta launches, these animations and features will be fine-tuned based on feedback from internal test users. So, if you're part of the beta, don't hesitate to share your thoughts with Samsung, it's your chance to help shape the final version. The beta will initially roll out to Galaxy S24 series users in South Korea and the USA. A few days later, other markets, including China, Germany, Poland, and the UK, will follow. Introducing No Bar a game-changing lock screen feature. Now, let's talk about No Bar, Samsung's innovative answer to Apple's dynamic island. Leaked images have given us a glimpse of this exciting feature, and it looks fantastic. With No Bar, Galaxy users can view real-time updates and important information directly on their lock screens. Positioned between the lock screen shortcuts, No Bar features a sleek pill-shaped design, blurred background for enhanced readability, Integration with apps like Samsung Clock's Timer and Voice Recorder. Essentially, think of Android's Call Timer Pill, but taken to the next level. Samsung has polished and expanded this idea to include more dynamic and functional elements. Future app integrations and user control. Currently, Nobar works with stock apps like Clock and Voice Recorder, but there's speculation that third-party apps will also adopt this feature soon. Samsung is also giving users the flexibility to disable no bar if it doesn't fit their style, ensuring you have full control over your lock screen's appearance. As always, some details have been confirmed, while others are still rumors, but we've pulled together all the key info so far. So, let's break down everything we can expect from Samsung's One UI 7.0 and how it's going to change your Galaxy experience. First up, we're getting dynamic island style notifications, much like what Apple introduced. A small pill shaped notification will appear on the left side of your status bar, and with a long press, you'll be able to expand it for more options. This is going to make interacting with notifications a lot more intuitive and smoother. Samsung is taking a page from iOS 18's playbook here. Bold app icons are coming your way, and you'll have the option to make them larger while hiding app names. If you're not a fan of that look, don't worry, you can easily switch back to the normal view with labels. This is something I'm personally looking forward to, smoother animations. Samsung is working to make app transitions, like opening, closing, and navigating back, a lot quicker and more responsive. Expect your phone to feel faster and slicker with these UI updates. Now, the quick settings panel is getting a redesign. Samsung is introducing rounded, pill-shaped blocks for your brightness and volume controls. The toggles will take up less space overall, but if you need more detailed controls, you can still expand them for a better view. We're also getting completely redesigned stock icons. The new icons will be rounder and feature more vibrant colors, making them easier to recognize at a glance. 
Apps like Camera, Gallery, Settings, and Samsung Internet will look noticeably different, which should freshen up the home screen for many users. Nay of the more unique features Samsung is working on is a split notifications tray. Notifications will be on one page, and quick settings on another. So, you'll pull down from the left for your notifications and from the right for quick settings. But, if you prefer the current setup, you can still keep everything combined in one pull-down menu. We're also seeing a change in the battery icon. It'll adopt a pill shape, and now, the battery percentage will be displayed inside the icon itself, making it easier to track your phone's battery at a glance. Here's a great new privacy feature, App Lock. You'll be able to lock apps with a passcode, password, or pattern, and there's a chance you'll even be able to use biometrics for unlocking. It's still unclear whether Samsung will add all the new privacy features from Android 15, but this is a solid step in the right direction. Samsung is borrowing another feature from iOS, live activities on the lock screen. This will allow you to track ongoing activities like playing music or monitoring your Uber ride directly from the lock screen. With a long press, you'll be able to see more details without having to unlock your phone. Last but not least, we're getting a new camera app layout. Samsung is making controls and options easier to reach by placing them at the bottom of the screen. Modes like portrait and night mode will also be right under the shutter button, making one-handed use a lot more convenient. As of right now, the current Samsung Galaxy software is One UI 6.11, which is based on Android 14. But, One UI 7.0 will be based on Android 15, and we're expecting it to hit many Samsung devices later this year. So far, we know which devices will get the update. The Galaxy S24 series is expected to be the first in line to receive the One UI 7 beta, probably by August of this year. Following that, Samsung will roll out the beta to other flagship devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 6, Galaxy Z Flip 6, and even some older models, including the Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy Z Flip 5, and Galaxy Z Fold 5. And there you have it. These are the features and updates we can expect from Samsung's One UI 7.0. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to see how these changes will improve the overall Galaxy experience. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. What are your thoughts on these upcoming features? Are you excited or are there some things you're not too sure about? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.